The water coursing through Texas's 15 river basins is the state's lifeblood, filling almost 200 reservoirs and providing precious drinking water to millions of Texans. From irrigating farmland to generating power, from sustaining fish and wildlife to supporting recreation, the water flowing in rivers fuels the ecology and economy of Texas. But it is the water beneath the surface of the land, groundwater and visible to our eyes, that helps sustain it all. 30% of the water flowing in Texas rivers originates from aquifers under the ground. During drought, virtually all of the water flowing in rivers across the state originates as groundwater. Despite this connection, groundwater and surface water are managed separately in Texas. This is problematic because in some areas of the state, groundwater declines can cause rivers to go dry. Rivers and groundwater are inextricably connected. Rain falling from the sky soaks into the ground and percolates through sand and gravel, filling shallow aquifers that intersect with riverbeds. Groundwater and surface water merge, sustaining the flow of rivers during drought. In some areas, rain is funneled underground through conduits like sinkholes or caves, where it travels through honeycomb rock and tunnels, plunging deeper and deeper beneath the surface. As more rain fills the aquifer, the pressure builds and builds, and the water is forced back to the surface, emerging through springs or seeps, where it becomes part of the river, flowing downstream. This cyclical connection keeps rivers flowing until they ultimately reach the coast. The health of our rivers depends on the health of our groundwater. In some areas of Texas, increased groundwater pumping, whether to irrigate farms or to provide drinking water, can cause springs and seeps to go dry, reducing a river's flow. More science is needed across river basins in Texas to fully understand the local dynamics of these interactions. One thing, however, is clear. Rivers and groundwater are connected. For Texas to ensure the resilience of our critical water supplies, both above and below the ground, we must manage these resources as one.